Hey guys, Chris here with Crisscross Crafts. I know some of you are probably wondering, based on this, what happened to the Shark? Well, I love my Shark. The Shark HD5 Extended Bed was a fantastic machine. It did everything I needed it to do. Uh, it was a great first personal machine for me. Um, it worked well. I liked the capacity. Uh, customer service was fantastic. Technical was fantastic. They're really that I can't say anything bad about the Shark machine that I had. I did have some little issues up front, but you know, as you all know, that was strictly due to a setting in the control pendant. After that, it was everything was solid. But um, had some jobs come up where I needed to be able to use a half inch shank bit a little more consistently, um, a little more production needs, and due to the noise of that Bosch uh, router, or any router for that matter, I really wanted to upgrade to the water-cooled spindle. And therein lies two of the problems that I had that, that really made me start looking elsewhere. Uh, one, um, the, the Shark will use a half-inch shank bit, no problem, especially in the 1617, uh, but it's really not designed for uh, faster feed rates using that or deeper cuts using a half-inch shank bit. Um, the water-cooled spindle option uh, they don't offer one with a half inch shank uh, collet so or a half inch collet so using half inch shank bits all together is out the door um, so it got me really thinking about you know my my needs and what I was doing and it led me to what you see here um, they the Axiom ARA Pro is a fantastic machine uh, it's priced considerably higher than the shark um, but you really do get what you pay for uh, this that old adage is true here uh, with, with the uh, the shark obviously I had the, uh, the the two and a quarter horse Bosch 1617 and I had used the Craig stand which was fine um, with the Axiom um, I step up to bigger stepper motors uh, these are a lot more powerful they're 40 watt I step up to the water-cooled spindle that is available in with quarter and half inch collets uh, the difference too is with the Axiom their water-cooled spindle has a built-in pump and reservoir so it's a consistent system uh, just like you'd see in your car uh, so that is a very nice feature that it's all wrapped up into one package So there's no worrying about having to have buckets or or lines draped everywhere Everything is built in and fit nice and neat into the the, the wire tracks and everything so uh, Also, they have much beefier gantry uh, a much beefier frame much beefier price point but uh, Again, you get what you pay for and and their uh, their top is uh, twice the size, twice the thickness of uh, what's on anything else on the market that's in that entry level range, uh, which means there is absolutely zero uh, deflection. Um, if you look at uh, my story from yesterday, uh, when I when I did a test with my tram, I used a digital indicator and I had perfect uh, perfect height all the way around. And when I tried to deflect on the table, there was zero deflection when I put my weight on it. So very very rigid from the table up um, I do like that that is that is just a powerhouse um, they offer upgrade options uh, which I'm probably may or may not do with the laser and, and, and uh, um, the uh, fourth axis and all that but the machine itself is, is built very solid I'm super excited about this the, the frame that it sits on the frame alone probably weighs 150 175 pounds I mean it's just massive and it's a uh, heavy-duty tube steel uh, it's it's just I mean honestly this frame could hold a machine twice this size and still not have any problems uh, it's just built really well um, the controller is is very intuitive and easy to use I will say uh, the the software with the the shark um, they're they're ready to control software is very good i did like that and, and the, it enabled me to use uh, that with a laptop um, which is the other reason why i, I like the the shark uh, even though it, you can't use a, a computer with it 
Um, it enabled me to take my files, especially on longer 3D models that I would cut, and actually copy the file over to the controller. So I'm not having to rely on constant USB connectivity to the controller or the pendant. This allows me to copy that over and, and not have to worry about that. That's on the controller all the time, which is a great feature. It has a lot of uh, other features built into to the controller itself, but the, the lead screw is massive. I mean, this thing's uh, probably three quarters of an inch thick are in three quarter inch in diameter, uh, which is really good. All other, it's a, it's a bearing screw, so it's got a, a heavy duty bearing running along here uh, into the groove, so it's gonna be very smooth as it transitions. It's not just a threaded coupler onto a threaded rod. Uh, so again, it's, it's, I'm not gonna bash my shark because I absolutely loved it and it was a perfect for, machine for me where I was, but now, uh, my needs have changed, uh, my production demands have changed, and the Axiom is, is a good logical next step. I really, I have no space in my shop for a big CNC. I'm not cutting out big giant sheets of plywood, so I didn't need some, you know, four by eight or five by five machine. This is the perfect size for what I do. And, and you know, if things change, obviously that could, could in a year or two, three, four down the line, but for now, I'm telling you this Axiom is probably gonna be my machine for, for several years to come um, or longer. So I've got the machine all together. It's all equipped. I have sort of did a test pass with a V-bit just to kind of see where my border locations were. Uh, next step, I guess, is uh, since I didn't get the toolbox with mine, ran out of money, is to start figuring out what kind of design I wanna do for uh, tool storage and, and uh, router bit storage and jig storage, things like that. So I've got some ideas, I've got some thoughts. So anyway, I, I hope you like the new machine. I know that I do, uh, and I can't wait to run some more projects on it, but I just wanted to share with you kind of what was going on and what was in my mind as I was making those decisions. And, and again, not to do, put down the shark at all, but this is where I needed to be for, for what I do and I absolutely am excited about it. And I look forward to a long, long, long time along with it and getting some jobs done. So if you got questions about my assembly process or anything here, or if you've got questions about the shark, obviously I've, I've got pretty good extensive experience with that. So just you know, feel free to shoot me a, a message, let me know, and I'll answer them where I can. And uh, in the meantime, just enjoy like I do the future projects coming off the Axiom. ARA Pro V5. This is Chris with Crisscross Crafts, and we will see and see you next time.